First of all, anyone who's ever made a movie uh, is in a difficult situation. And if the movie's good or successful, or if he finishes it, if he's still alive, if they get to the end of the trip, uh, they've overcome a difficult situation successfully. Uh, you know, in terms of, uh, of uh, you know, uh, inspirational speaking, I don't know, I don't know if, if I'm the guy, but I mean, yeah, I mean, there, within a movie there are, there are very difficult situations that come up. Well, we were talking about the screen kiss between Sally and Rodney and Back to School. On the day we're going to shoot it, right, Rodney pulls me aside in the morning while they're setting up, and he says, uh, I ain't going to kiss her, man. And I say, well, you got her, man. It's in the script. And Sally pulls me aside and says, do I have to kiss him? Can't I just hug him? Right? They were both scared to death. I mean, that was the big moment because of their public images. She's hot, lips Lipsulian, and he's goofy Rodney and uh, nervous, sweating Rodney. So I said, no, it's got to happen. So we go to shoot the scene, and we're all set up, and I'm like wedged in behind the camera looking at a little TV monitor, and I call action, and they come in, and I told them they have to kiss and hold the kiss a real long time and then go down on the couch real long time because the, that was a setup for a, for a punchline of a joke and the punchline of the joke was the dogs that they saw screwing on the front lawn when they were going out afterward they go into this kiss and they're kissing for a real long time and I have to hold it till the audience is going oh no we're we gonna have to see Rodney have sex with Sally Kellerman on the screen right then I cut to those two dogs watching them screw right huge laugh big explosion but I, I didn't know how long I had to hold it until I felt the audience was uncomfortable enough to be so relieved that they would laugh, right? That was the joke. And uh, anyway, f we shoot the first take, and Rodney is holding Sally like like a guy moving a big carpet into a rolled up carpet into a house. You know, <laughs> couldn't have been stiffer, right? So uh, I cut, and I remember Tom Ackerman, the, the cameraman, looks at me and goes, "We're in trouble here," <laughs> you know. And uh, I said, "Okay, let's do it again." Does it again, same thing. Okay, let's do it again. Does it again, same thing. And finally, I said, do it again. You know, I was going to stay there until I got something. And I didn't know how to do it. I didn't know what to tell him to do. And Sally yells across the room because I'm wedged behind the camera. She yells, how do you want us to do it? And I said, like you mean it. All right, next take. They, they both took that note. Boom, we get it. Right? And uh, Sally comes up to me afterwards and says, you know, that was a very good piece of direction. And I'm thinking, yeah, great. You know, I mean, I, <laughs> and, uh, and, and Rodney comes over to me and she said, he says, she opened her mouth, I didn't. 